Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here today in this video we'll be taking a look at a brand new Nintendo Switch emulator for Android devices called as Uzui X. It is from the same developers who previously created the Uzui emulator along with Uzui MMJR and to be honest this is what has been keeping the old Nintendo Switch emulator for Android project alive in 2024. Well to get started we'll need to understand what's actually Uzui X. So basically it is a brand new folk version of Uzui MMJR with lot of new enhancement new features and new settings. Frame skipping and interpolation logic has been added for smoother performance, introduced frame skipping option to improve performance, added sync core speed setting for more flexibility, enhanced hardware composer and lot more so basically there are so many changes you can check them out on its official discord server of Uzui emulator, conversion shader and pipeline, new host shader for improved rendering and lot more so basically this Uzui X has not been publicly launched and is only available currently for testing. So if you want to try it out then it is available on the Uzui Edge official discord server. Anyways before we start setting up this emulator we'll need to remove the previous Uzui emulator if we already have any. So I'll be removing Uzui MMJR from my android device and only after that will we be able to try out the Uzui X emulator. But before getting started guys if you are new here then be sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as I upload similar videos on my channel and here's our today's google play store gift card redeem code giveaway which I am doing till the end of September. So if you also want to participate in this giveaway then simply subscribe and turn on all notification and be the first one to watch my videos. With all of that out of the way let's take a look at this emulator. Now the first thing which you'll immediately notice is the fact that we didn't really have to set up anything because previously we were using the Uzui MMJR emulator and if you have done so already all of the settings etc will be carried forward to the Uzui X emulator. So in terms of GPU driver manager you guys will be able to see Mesa Turnip driver version 24.3 3.0 revision 4 has already been imported. Make sure to use this graphics driver for better performance. Anyways, we have a brand new setting option known as Phoenix Tweaks. Enable or adjust Phoenix specific tweaks where we get sync core speed. Multi core has been enabled. Let's also enable frame skipping and uh, frame interpolation. Data backend is set to GLSL. NVDEC emulation is set to GPU. ASTC decoding mode is set to CPU, ASTC recompression method is uncompressed but will set it to BC1 for low quality, VRAM usage mode will set it to aggressive. So we have turned on all the Uzui X special tweaks that are available. Afterwards we will go to uh, the system settings and set the limit speed percentage to 400. Let's go to graphics here, resolution set it to 0.5x, accuracy level is normal, vsync will turn it off. This shader cache force maximum clocks and asynchronous shaders have been turned on. Afterwards we'll go to debug, CPU backend is native code execution. And yeah guys those are all the settings of the Uzui X emulator but the most important fact is how well does it actually run Nintendo Switch games on Android. Let's find out. So let's start testing out this emulator. For today's video we'll be trying out Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu as it is one of those games for some reason doesn't really work well with the Yuzu emulator folks. The FPS is pretty low even on high end devices. Well anyways simply swipe back, go to controls, make sure to turn on player 1 controls and set the controller type to handheld if you want the working on screen touch controls input overlay uh, for Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu or else you won't be able to play this game at all. And at the top left corner you will be able to see we have different overlays now. We got the FPS overlay along with that app memory. So I think it shows what is the RAM usage of the app. So it is using 2.5 GB of RAM. It also shows us the turnip drivers and if we go back and turn on thermal indicator in terms of overlay options you will be able to see we get our device temperature at the top right corner. So we'll simply just go ahead and start the game and see how well does it work. Well I want to show you guys another feature of this emulator but before that my first impressions are that even though we are running this game at 0.5x resolution the graphics do not appear that bad it literally looks like the game is running at 0.75 or 1x graphics resolution. Anyways there we go I think on screen touch control also works so yeah. It is working properly, I simply press the OK button. Now guys the game actually forced off after adding my name and I tried it multiple times and it was just getting forced off. So what we'll be doing is actually importing a save data. So I have imported my save data of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Now we'll simply reopen the game and there is another thing which I have noticed, I'll talk about it later on in this video. But there we go, now our game should successfully start. So I think here's the moment of truth, how well will Pokemon Let's Go work inside of the Uzui emulator. The game has successfully started and at the top left corner, inside house we are seeing around 90 FPS, not bad at all. 
Well, I have seen some emulators give me around 120 FPS inside house or even 140 FPS inside house. So 100 FPS doesn't really seem that much to me, to be honest. But what we are looking for is an actual gameplay experience. It should be playable, so more than 30 to 60 FPS. So once we exit the house, you'll be able to see that the game is currently rendering. I am not able to see the FPS bar at the top left corner. Well, now we can see it clearly and the FPS is around 26 to 20. Oh my God, what is happening? Okay, now we are back to 30 FPS. But this is the thing guys, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu is one of the worst optimized games on Yuzu Emulator. If you emulate the same game on EggNS or Pine Emulator or Skyline Emulator, this game will run so well like it will blow away your mind. But in terms of Uzui X, it's not using the Antutu to build, that's why we are getting bare minimum FPS. So it means that even if you have a low end Android device, you should get similar FPS to what I am getting right now. Only because it's not exceeding 30 FPS in any device, I'm not really seeing a huge improvement compared to the other emulators to be completely honest. The temperature bar as you will be able to see at the top right corner isn't exceeding over 38 degrees celsius. It's obviously not using the Antutu to build and that's the main reason why our battery performance is pretty stable. The graphics quality once again as I mentioned before I set it to 0.5x resolution but the resolution is just too crisp. I think it's somewhere around 0.75x resolution but yeah there are no graphical issues, uh, no rendering or no cutscene. No black screen, no four stop, no crashing issues. So if you have a stable Snapdragon processor Android device, let's say like Snapdragon 695 processor or above, then you can definitely use this Nintendo Switch emulator on your Android devices. But uh, for the best amount of performance, I will always recommend Pine emulator or the Uzui MMJR and do to build. So yeah, do let me know in the comment section down below. Will you be trying this emulator out or not? I'll see you guys next time though. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.